good, gente. It's your boy Conejo. Ya saben, man. Aquí andamos. Um, on this video, it's going to be a good one, homie. It's a real sensitive one. Um, it's still an open case, uh, but I do have people that have been tapping in and asking me why I have, haven't made a video about it, right? And I had explained it on my lives a couple of times, like, hey, bro, I, I usually don't tend to tap into videos like this because um, I don't want it to affect the one of the people fighting this case, you know? I don't want them to get fucked or if they got something going on that can help them. I ain't trying to jeopardize that or anything, right? Because, I mean, I'm not here to help, like, in the sense, uh, the system or, or the law enforcement, right, do their job. Um, even though, like, out here, a lot of people do catch wind of what happened, how it happened, and all that shit, right? Uh, because, let's be quite real, people get a little bit more comfortable speaking to people like me. Um, just to a regular, uh, regular person, right? They like, like... It's cheese, my homie, but it's entertaining, right? And it's something that, a tragedy that happened. Um, so a lot of people did touch down and kind of figured out what happened. But there's not too much that can be said. I will be posting on my community post uh, the article of what happened, the, the stabbing and all that shit. So you guys can actually look it up. I do recommend you guys to actually look it up. I was going to read the article and explain a little bit of the things, uh, but now nah, I'll just leave that right there to the side and I'll talk about it. You know what I mean? Or, or we can read about it towards the end. Um, it's really up to you guys, but I will be putting up the article as well as others so that you guys can actually tap in and go, go read it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go get mm, gamed up. Um, pretty much, uh, this is, a it's going to be a profile on some youngsters from, one from my town and one from the other town, but they're from the area. And it's going to be a profile on the school that uh, happens to be known in Watson. Well, not even in Watson, homie, because it's in another, uh, like, a, it's part of Watsonville, but it's in Aptos. So it's technically another little city, you know. And uh, it's, it's, it's known in Watson to be, like, a super nice school. It's supposed to be, like, a rich area. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, a lot of white people go there. And um, don't get me wrong, I, I, like, I like that school too, you know what I'm saying? I, when I was young, I used to love going there, but I never attended the actual school. Um, pretty much, but that school is what's known to be a good school, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not, not a lot of shit happens, but uh, this is something that occurred, and lately, I mean, there's been a couple of tragedies that have, have happened in that school, uh, but this one ha happens to be the biggest one, and a lot of people... We're tripping out, you know what I'm saying? Because they never would have suspected this happening in that school, you know what I mean? And some schools in Watson, yeah, it could have happened, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but no, um, it happened in Aptos, and it was a shock, you know what I'm saying? It was a shock to me. Um, but to, to talk about a little bit more about it uh, so that people can be a little bit more in, uh, intrigued, <laughs> I think that's how you said the word, Mr. Cool Guy, um, more interested, right, in the video. I'm going to be talking about two Norteños and one Sudeño that ended up uh, losing his life that day in school campus. Um, even though that on the reports, it's going to say that, oh boy, wasn't a Sudeño or he didn't bang or whatever, right? Uh, you guys got to understand that the media is going to say one thing, right? And especially like uh, no disrespect to the person that lost his life and his family members, uh, hey, my condolence, you know what I'm saying, I send mines, and I hope you guys are doing better than, you know what I'm saying, when it happened, um, but pretty much the story got put out there that old boy was a regular bystander, when in all reality, I mean, something like that wouldn't just happen to a regular person in school, you know what I mean, um, especially not by two individuals that are known gang members uh, to at least the youth community, right, and to what the police reports say, and all that, right? So they were pretty much already under that category as a gang member. So I'm pretty much uh, going to give what I think happened, right? Not to what they told me. I'm just going to go by what I think happened. Uh, because like I said, I'm not trying to affect no one. And what I'm saying, well, I mean, it could be right. It could be wrong. I mean, you guys are going to have to actually do your own work on it, right? Uh but in all reality, pretty much to what it seemed like, it was two two Norteños, right, that caught the case. And, uh, and one Sureño that was going to that school. That school happens to be known to have a couple Sureños go to that school, at least in my time, right? 
now it's a little bit more different. Um, a lot of these schools up north, and the, they have a lot of Norteños, homie, no matter where it's at. And um, as we can see, uh, it's starting to affect the the schools and high schools a little bit more, right? Because back then, you wouldn't really hear about shit like that. You hear about them fighting all the time or rarely actually doing damage like that. You know what I'm saying? But no one's ever passed away like that. Um, this individual happened to get the the bad end of the stick, you know, to what I'm thinking that happened was names were getting called out and pretty much, uh, you guys, I recommend you guys read the report, you know what I'm saying? Then you guys can kind of be like, okay, this is where this was getting all these little things. Um, pretty much, I felt like, oh boy, they had some words exchanged, you know what I'm saying? You guys pretty know, know what kind of words probably. They ended up calling each other out and ended up being a, like a regular fight, right? Uh, I, I believe that's what happened. It started as a regular fight. Um, we all know that we're not going to let a homie or in any, any, when I say homie, I know I, I, I mess up a lot, uh, but any Norteño is not going to let another Norteño get, get fucked up or beat up by a Sureño. And it'll be the same way around if it was another Sureño and, and one Northerner. It's the same thing. That's never going to happen. Um, there will be a fair one at the beginning, but more than likely, it's not going to be fair. And to what I think it happened was that old boy was getting his ass whooped. You know what I mean? And what happened from there, it went to the extreme. You know, uh, old boy ended up getting stabbed, uh, losing his life right there in campus, right? Which is something really crazy, bro. Because, like, I asked myself this, right? Even though I done participated with in the past and I still tend to be affiliated somewhat, um, I still ask myself, where the fuck were the teachers? Where were the teachers at? You know what I'm saying? Uh, to actually interview, uh, interview and stop all that shit, right? Because there was videos that were taken when all this shit was happening. Nowadays, everybody has a phone. So technically, there's a camera everywhere. And um, what were the teachers doing, right? Uh, were they actually doing their job and separating the fight? Even though there was a weapon, I mean, I still believe that the teachers should have done a little bit, a little bit more, you know. But I mean, it happened. Uh, it's it was a gang related ish uh, thing, and two Norteños ended up uh, taking the life away of a Sureño. A Sureño lost his life that day, and like it was something big, right? Because like at first, I mean, like I said, I never expected someone to lose their life in that in that school. You know, what I mean, that's a really nice school. If you're from the area, you'll know what I'm talking about, and. It came out on the news and it came out everywhere. They they painted old boy as an innocent person. But me knowing uh, how Watsonville is, how the area is, and more than likely how gangs do it, more than likely they're not going to take someone's life that wasn't participating or wasn't some type of threat. You know what I mean? That would never happen. So I already knew, you know, and then people start, we, we, I talked, you know, I'm saying I got a lot of young homies that communicate with me at uh they, they gave me a little rundown, you know, and I was like, damn, man, that's fucking crazy. So pretty much like at the end of the day, bro, it was, it was a tragedy. You know, someone lost his life. But also these two youngsters, you know what I'm saying? Let's be quite real, bro. These two youngsters are going to get broken off and more than likely they're going to catch all day um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it was gang related. It was inside of school. Uh, how many people didn't get fucking traumatized from even seeing that shit, right? Because let's be quite real. Not everyone has been able to experience or seen someone die in front of them or get killed in front of them, you know? So I know that the people that are doing time, more than likely, they're done too, you know what I'm saying? So there was three lives lost right there. Because I'm pretty sure none of them, the, the youngsters that are doing time got kids or nothing like that. So they technically don't got nothing to lose, in the sense that they don't have a family or anything like that. But what about their family? What about their parents? I mean, they're doing time with them. And it's, it just sucks, homie, when people are young and they don't realize that the, the actions that they're doing or they're about to commit, you know, and it just goes too far, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure right now they're sitting back in that cell and thinking about what the fuck happened, you know, like, damn, man. Why didn't I just get my ass whooped? Why didn't I just run that fade? Or maybe he's telling the other dude, what the fuck? Why the fuck did you do that? You know you know what I mean? Excuse, we don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got individuals that are close to them. 
So I will ask them. Uh, but right now at the moment, a lot of them don't want to speak, um, especially because it's uh, it's in their best thing, uh, best interest uh, not to speak. You know what I'm saying? That's something that your attorney tells you right from the gate. Um, so more than likely, we won't know exactly what happened until after they get sentenced, you know, or if someone ends up flipping because, like I remind you, they are young. So the chances of one of them flipping and actually giving up the full story are real, real, real strong. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens with time. Um, I didn't really want to get into too much detail in this story. Uh, it was a tragedy. Uh, R.I.P. to old boy and to his family. You know, we send our condolences, condolences to to them. You know, um, pretty much. I'm not gonna get into too much detail. Uh, I wish I could. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had some of you guys right here, like the homies and shit, so we could just chop it up. But the thing is, uh, it's not like that. So I'm gonna cut this video short right here, man. Uh, I'm gonna put the articles up so that you guys can tap into it. I hope you guys like this video, man. Um, I really didn't want to touch into these type of videos, but I'm going to be speaking on some videos that I usually tend not to want to speak on, but I'm going to be reading the articles and we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? We'll see how it goes. Um, I know a lot of people want a little bit more facts and stuff like that, but when it comes to situations like that, homie, we can't really speak facts until their sentence or, you know what I mean? Until certain little things, homie, because we can't help law enforcement. With all that being said, man, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, man, make sure to put a thumbs up. If you guys didn't, man, put a thumbs down. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, bro. And yeah, man, with all that being said, man, um, let's teach our youngsters better. <laughs> Before I end this, let's teach our youngsters better and let them know not to be scared to get an ass whooping or give an ass whooping, you know? Um, there's no need to pick up weapons, uh, especially at that age. They're still kids, homie. They're young. They have a whole future to live, like, live forward to. So it's not worth it um, doing stupid shit like that. Uh, with all that being said, man, I guys, like I said, I hope you guys like this video. And, yeah, man, it's your boy, Cornejo, and I'm out.